And we are on take three of this great project. It is 10 a.m. in the great state of Texas, and we're using Total Boat Epoxy on this project. So uh, my cats are running wild in my house, and it's making this commentary a little bit more difficult. But we're going to try to get through it this time on the third try. We're using Total Boat Epoxy, mixing some fine blue and pink glitter up. And we're going to get that all mixed up and formed into a blank using uh, some Total Boat Epoxy. And as I said earlier in some of the earlier takes of this commentary, Total Boat is my favorite epoxy to work with. When I got into watching woodworking on YouTube, I could have sworn I seen a lot of like the top YouTubers use uh, Total Boat. It's a really good product. It's a little pricey. So I thought since these are probably going to be some of my uh, last projects of the year, why not splurge a little bit? So getting this all mixed up, we got the blue, we got the pink, and making this cool purple type color which absolutely looks fabulous uh, all mixed up and we're taking it from one quart container and putting it into a different quart container usually what happens I don't mix the uh, epoxy too well and then it ends up sticking to the actual mixing pot so sometimes it's better just to take it mix it in one container and pour it into another because sometimes once you get it out of the actual pressure pot it'll stick to the bottom. So four and a half hours later into the pressure pot got this cool nice casting. It fell right out of the mold. Nothing too complicated here. You can see all the glitter and shine on this one. It looks absolutely gorgeous. I love the way these glitter bowls turn out. And uh, somebody saw me make one of these. If you follow me on Instagram you get to see all these projects a little bit earlier. But Basically, uh, got a lot of orders for these cool uh, epoxy uh, little pots that I'm making here. So nothing too big, nothing too spectacular on this one. Uh, Total Boat is a little bit more pricier in terms of epoxy, so that's why I made a smaller pot versus uh, some of the bigger projects that we typically do. But got everything glued on there. Now we're just taking the face plate, getting that all nice and screwed on there. And then we're going to end up putting this onto the lathe and we'll get it turned down. So just like with all my other projects, I don't put the screws in all the way down because you'll get a little bit of cracking on that pine board when you do that. So it's good just to put the screws in about three-fourths of the way and then screw them all down once they're all in. So getting everything nice and set up on the lathe, making sure everything is nice and even, and giving it a good spin before we turn the lathe on. And here we go. So now we're just taking off that superficial layer like we will typically do in most of our projects. Came back, hit it with uh, one of the smaller gouges and one of the larger gouges as well. Uh, I think there was a sharpening issue and I didn't sharpen the tool so that's why I switched back and forth between the larger gouge and coming back and hitting it with the smaller one. But getting some good ribbons off of here, nice superficial layer coming off and now we're just getting most of it nice and even, taking the round carbide tool and getting everything nice and even the way that we typically like to do. And then we're just working our way all the way up to the headstock. And you can see there, even with that, I'm still not getting all of that superficial layer off. Just making sure everything is nice and even because you got to get everything centered before you actually start getting the actual sizing that you want. So once we felt like we had most of that taken off, now we're just coming back again, hitting it with the round carbide tool. That's where you'll do most of your work a majority of the time. And now we're just trying to get everything nice and even, flattening out the bottom the way that we like, taking another look at it. And still, you don't have all of the superficial layer taken off, but we got a majority of it taken down. And that's usually what I'm going for. So now we're just getting that bottom nice and flat. And then we're going to come back and gouge that out and make a mortise out of it. And then you can see me just resting the tool on top of it, making sure it's nice, even, and balanced. So taking the parting tool, and now we're just taking the uh, smaller carbide tool and making a mortise so we can reverse it on the chuck and just making sure everything fits nice and neat. And, you know, I really like doing these just pure epoxy projects because you don't get a lot of chatter on the chisels. It's just nice and even. You can see the good ribbons that we're getting out of it, making everything a little bit easier. And I'm trying to make this mortise as small as possible just to where it fits the chuck. Uh, you don't want to go too wide on it because sometimes what will end up happening is you'll end up breaking the lip of the bottom bowl and it'll just detach and totally ruin your day. So once we got the mortise built up, now we're just taking down that pine board. Uh, it doesn't serve any real purpose other than to t attach the face plate. And I used to just take a, a flat chisel and just pop that thing off, but I've been using so much glue, 
it's just a lot easier and a lot faster if you just go ahead and just take it down with uh, some gouging tools, which eh, I don't mind. It, it makes it a little bit easier and you don't have to beat up the epoxy so much. So that part went relatively smooth, not a whole lot of issues there. So once that pops off, now we're just trying to get everything nice, flat, and even. Again, resting the tool on top, making sure everything is nice and balanced. So here we are with the gouging portion of it, and you can see these good shavings that we're getting off, off the epoxy itself. Right off the bat, everything is going nice and smooth, just getting it to a nice depth that we like. Went back, sharpened the tool. That's super duper important because I found that that was really taken away from the gouging portion of it not having sharp tools which by this time in my career I should know better so once we got that all taken care of now we're just coming back hitting it with a variety of tools the bull gouge the round and square carbide tool and I am using a different variety of sizes concerning the round carbide tool I feel like the larger head will allow me to gouge a lot better versus the smaller one you can do a lot of more of the finer detail work with a smaller gouge or smaller round carbide tool but you do a little bit better with the larger one as far as the gouging portion of it goes and we're just really taking our time since this is just a pure epoxy project you really just want to take layer by layer off versus really attacking the epoxy which I wouldn't recommend doing so this part of it went relatively smooth you can see on the workbench still a lot of good shavings on it a lot of good material coming off of it not that glass or like sandpaper dust coming off of it like you've seen me do you should go really go back and watch some of my older projects before i knew how to work a pressure pot and i had no idea what i was doing i had so many issues with epoxy but i feel like as i've gotten a little bit older uh, in my woodworking I've gotten a lot better as far as using epoxy and how to uh, approach these projects so now we're just doing a little bit of the finer detail work here you can see taking small and gentle strokes making sure to really get in there to uh, a nice depth that we like making sure that everything is just nice and even nothing worse than doing a nice project like this and then it's just not nice and even on the finger so you, you really just got to take small gentle strokes and just really take your time so here we are got it to the depth that we want you can see the workbench absolutely covered in shavings real good color coming off of those you can kind of see the purple blue tint in them looks real nice and neat and even really love how this turned out so this is us pre-sanding uh, working all the way from 340 going up to 1500 and then coming back and hitting it with micro mesh uh, here in just a little bit you guys know how much I love sanding right so sanding is my absolute favorite part but that's where you make your money that's where you actually get the actual shine that you're looking for in your projects and there's my shoulder great camera work guy uh, I, gotta, I gotta work on my camera stuff so once the dry sanding's done, then you come back, hit it with a wet sanding, and you can see that purple it just looks absolutely gorgeous, absolutely beautiful. Love how this turned out, and we're just polishing it up, and then we're going to lay it in the sun, and here it is, putting that wood wax that we love on there. I feel like the wood wax is just all purpose. It makes everything look amazing, so highly recommend using that. And you can see like the galaxy look in it. I think that's what I end up calling this bowl is the galaxy bowl because it, it looks like a damn space galaxy. It's so cool. So getting that all nice, even, and polished, everything turned out relatively well with this one other than doing the commentary. And here it is glistening in the sun. Looks absolutely beautiful. So hope you guys liked the project. Hope you got something out of it. Again, using Total Boat since I you know, was a little bit Scrooge McDuck in terms of the price on it. Uh, not a large project, but nonetheless it still looks absolutely gorgeous fabulous looks absolutely great can't wait to come back and do some larger projects using the total boat so don't forget to subscribe leave a comment all that good stuff and i'll see you guys in the next project peace okay so the project is done and this one looks absolutely gorgeous i love this glitter the video doesn't do it justice how freaking cool this looks absolutely gorgeous you can see all the cool sparkle in there. Had some issues with the gouging portion of it. I was kind of frustrated trying to get in there. I, I like the smaller cups. However, once you start the gouging process, it's kind of a pain in the ass because it's so small. But man, this looks really, really good. We are, we are just getting so much better at doing these projects. So hope you guys liked it. Hope you got something out of it. Mortis is a little big, but man, that looks cool. Especially in the sun, the way it just glistens and glitter. All that fine glitter in there. Man, these are awesome. So 
Hope you liked it. Hope you got something out of it. Today is like October 23rd, 2021. You guys are probably watching this in March of 2022. Got some unforeseeable work stuff that is going on right now. That's kind of why I'm cranking out these videos so far in advance because I just want to keep the channel going and growing and all that good stuff. So don't forget to like it, subscribe it, all that bullshit that every YouTuber says. And I'll see you guys in the next project. All right, peace.